Today I'm going to show you how to set up Wi-Fi on the Hans Model 2 and Model 2R. Um, when you first plug in the machine, we want you to connect it to Wi-Fi and uh, do an over-the-air update on the software to make sure you're on the latest version before actually running through the startup cycle. So we just plugged our unit in. We're actually in startup cycle. It's waiting for water to be introduced to the system. So the first thing we're going to do from the home screen, you just need to press menu and then service. Your Wi-Fi button is going to be this button here. So you click that, and this is the screen you get to um, to set up Wi-Fi. So the first thing you'll need to do is go into the um, Hans by Culligan app. It's going to take you to the main menu of the app itself. Just If you've already created a username, just click log in. When you get into the app, the top left button, um, setting button, is where you're going to need to go to set up Wi-Fi on a new device. So we're going to go into set up new Hans device. It's going to give you some basic instructions on this screen. Um, if you need full instructions and walkthroughs on how to set up Wi-Fi, there's also uh, very detailed instructions in our installation manual and owner's manual. Okay. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you want to hit press set up Wi-Fi on the screen of the Hans device, the electronics box, before you actually hit proceed on the app. So we're going to hit press to set up Wi-Fi and then hit proceed. The phone is going to look for the Hans Wi-Fi access point that's created on, by the electronics box, which is our communication path, how we actually send the Wi-Fi credentials to the unit. So once you're actually connected to that network, it's going to say connected to Hans on the top. The app is going to grab the device ID off of the actual device you're connected to, which is the same number that's at the top right here. And then we're going to type in the Wi-Fi credentials for what Wi-Fi network we're trying to detect, connect to. So the one we are connecting to today is called a not set yet. It's important to get um, the correct Wi-Fi credentials, including case sensitivity from the customer. Um, if you miss a capitalization um, or any special characters or numbers, then obviously you're not gonna be able to connect to it. So it's important to get those exactly how their Wi-Fi name is and password. So once you have that typed in, you can verify whatever the customer may have either told you or wrote down. So we've got not set yet and not set yet as a password. If you verify that's correct, all you have to do is hit set Wi-Fi credentials. The phone app is going to send those credentials to the actual electronics box. Depending on the stability of your Wi-Fi, it may take a few minutes for it to actually connect to the router. Um, if it's got a pretty strong signal, it'll connect pretty quickly. Your Wi-Fi connection status is on the top left-hand uh, side of the screen here. So when it says connecting, basically it's looking for that Wi-Fi router name. Once you get actual connection to the router, it'll change the, on the top, it'll say connected to whatever the router name is. In this case, it'll say not set yet. And then once you connect to the cloud, um, that means you're actually actively sending data to our cloud server. So we just connected to the Wi-Fi router here. Um, in a few seconds, it should pull up that we're connected to the cloud. So we're on the cloud. So the next check you can do is you can go back into the Haas by Culligan app and you can actually log in and see, um, verify that the one that you're actually connected to is actually actively sending data to the cloud. If you're not connected and not sending data to the cloud, all these will say NA. Um, this device is F8F005 ADA4EB. That matches what's on the top of this one. So this confirming we're watching the correct device and it's all watching real-time data, and you can actually see the refreshes at the very top for time um, that you're actually actively sending data. It will send data every five seconds to the unit. So once you're in, you know it's correct. The next thing you can do is if your customer wants to watch the device on their app also, all you have to do is write down the device ID, have them go into their app with, an, with their own um, username and password, and they need to select add an existing Haas device and then hit OK, and all they have to do is type in the device ID that's on the top of this or on the top of your phone to start watching the device itself. 